Hello, this is uh, for my students um, who are doing Florida Virtual School Algebra 2. And uh, they just, uh, just in the last day or so, um, my one student uh, was looking at Kramer's rule for solving a 2 by 2 uh, system of equations. Um, so I'm going to work on the assumption that you have seen Kramer's rule, although I'm going to go back to it sort of at the end of this video. But uh, I want to prove for you how Kramer's rule uh, works uh, doing these uh, um, and solving these uh, two by two uh, set of equations. And then, of course, Kramer's rule will expand out to three by three, four by four, and in, in general, uh, n by n uh, set of variables and equations. Okay, so let's look at this right here. Uh, we have two equations, ax plus by equals c and dx plus ey equals f. Now the variables here are x and y in both equations. Okay, and we take a, b, c, d, e, f to be constants. So for example, ax plus by uh, equals c uh, could mean like 6x uh, plus 2y uh, equals negative 4. Okay, so a, b, and c represent constants, and x and y are the variables in the equation. So how, um, how would we solve uh, this set of two equations right here using our sort of traditional algebraic techniques to find x and y? Well, the way I choose to do it here is I take, uh, I want to eliminate uh, the variable x from the uh, system of equations and then solve directly for y. So I do that, I look at these two equations and I see why well, I have a times x here and I have d times x here. So if I take this top equation and I'm going to multiply the whole thing by d and take this bottom equation and I'm going to multiply the whole thing here by a and I do that here below. So this is multiplying both sides of the equation by d, and here is multiplying both sides of the second equation by a. So I, I have d times ax plus d times by is equal to d times c. That's what this means. And this down here means a times dx plus a times ey equal to f. So that's, that's all that I mean by that notation. Okay, now I multiply through. On the top, I multiply through by the, by the d. Okay, so di, uh, distributing it into the parentheses, I get, I get uh, d times ax, that's adx, plus d times, by, uh, b, d times by. But that's the same thing as bdy. So d times by up here is the same thing as bdy and then that equals d times c. Okay, so I hope you see that where I've used uh, um, the uh, uh, commutative, associative, distributive laws to sort of rewrite the equation in a slightly different form. Down here on the bottom, I take a times dx, and I leave it as a times dx. Then I have a times ey here, and that's equal to a times f. So that's what this second equation then becomes right in here. Okay, so this is the first equation right here, and then uh, this is the second equation. So the, the, the trick here was I get ADX in both here and here. So if I subtract this whole bottom equation right in here from the top equation, I eliminate X. So let's see what happens when I do that. When I subtract ADX from ADX, that goes away. When I subtract AEY from BDY, I get this thing right here, right here. And then when I subtract AF from DC, I get this thing here. So when I subtract the second equation from the first equation right here, I get this thing uh, right here. Okay, so now we're almost done uh, because first thing I'm going to do here is notice I have BDY minus AEY. I'm going to factor Y out and write this expression as the, in parentheses, BD minus AE all times Y. 
and then that's equal to DC minus AF, which is what I have up in here. Okay. Now, finally, what I do is solve for Y, and I solve for Y by dividing both sides of this expression by the quantity here that's in parentheses. So I bo divide both sides of this equation right here by the quantity BD minus AE. And when I do that, I have this equation for Y. I have Y is equal to, in the numerator, in parentheses, DC minus AF, and then in the denominator, here in parentheses, divided by BD minus AE. So this is the solution for Y. Now notice, by the way, that I can flip the numerator here, where it's DC minus AF, write it as AF minus DC, and flip the denominator. Here it's BD minus AE, and rewrite it as AE minus BD. Because this is the same thing as multiplying the numerator by a negative 1 and the denominator by a negative 1, just flipping them, okay? So this becomes AF minus DC divided by AE minus BD. So flipping them doesn't change the value of the whole expression because, as I said, numerator times negative 1 divided by negative 1 in the denominator. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is 1. So flipping this and flipping this around the, the negative sign in the numerator and denominator doesn't change the value of the expressions. So here's another correct way of writing the answer for y. Now, let's, um, let's look at how this um, uh, relates to the uh, um, Kramer's rule. Okay, so let me open up another page here. New, okay, okay. So here I've got another page. Now, remember that my equations look something like um, uh, AX plus BY is equal to C, and I had DX plus EY is equal to F. Now using Kramer's rule, if I want to solve for Y, I, I get this. Y is equal to, and then in the denominator, I just put the determinant a, B, D, E, and in the numerator, since I'm solving for Y, I put the determinant A, D, C, F. So when I evaluate these two determinants, the numerator becomes A, F, minus C, D, and the denominator becomes AE minus BD. So here I have AF minus CD divided by AE minus BD. And now I go back and I look at this expression right here. And what do I have? I have AF minus DC divided by AE minus BD. So AF minus CD which is the same thing as AF minus DC, divided by AE minus BD, I have AE minus BD. So you can see that this expression right in here, right here, is the same thing that we have with Kramer's rule. So you can consider then this derivation I have just shown you right here, this whole thing, this whole expression, this whole derivation, is a proof of Kramer's rule for a set of two equations and two unknowns. So, until next time.